What's up, diamonds and gents? This is Miss Trey, that gym, and you're watching Gym Spot TV. How you doing? Hey, mom, doing? Dad, doing? How about doing? Um, real quick, I got a uh, video should be coming. I hopefully this week I went to the auto show here in Chicago, so I got like the beginning footage of um my face look and all that good stuff and uh, outfit of the day. I ain't have on nothing too fancy, so yeah. But I wore the blue lipstick I bought, which um swatches of the makeup and stuff that I bought should be coming up or coming soon. Okay, and for those that always ask about my makeup, because I know I have a lot of makeup ladies that follow me, before I get into the uh, the review on uh, the interview, um, I have on my lips, which I think is my favorite uh, February favorite, and that's um, Retro Pink from Wet n Wild. Oh my God, I love that. And then my makeup. I have my cover girl, but I have a great concealer. It, and it wasn't and it was inexpensive from LA Girl. Um yeah, I got on a concealer that Jonay82 put put me up on from one of her videos. So yeah. But anyway, my eyes is um different shadows. Outer is uh, from a Maybelline palette. The inner is from a, a Milani palette. It's a pink. And the inner is from um, a Wet n Wild palette. And the inside is a, a lighter pink. It's different shades of pink. Then it goes into black. And then the inner is Victoria's Secret. And then I just blended it. As you can see, you can't see the different shades. But you can see it if you, you know, you had an HD camera coming soon getting me a new camera and then i didn't drop the dog on little camera at least it was recording a little bit and i didn't drop the thing but anyway let me get on into this uh review um oh jury my two finger ring i bought okay and a little some little bracelets and a little pearls i bought that was in one of them videos that I got coming up. You probably ain't seen that one yet. But anyway, Beyonce and Oprah, let's get on into it. So now, um, Oprah gets an interview with Beyonce before her uh, documentary airs, which is Life is But a Dream. Now, you know, she, and literally a few minutes before the actual premiere of it all. So Oprah gets to sit down with Beyonce and they're talking and I notice like Beyonce is different than what her normal interviews are, how she tries to be, you know, the girl, the girl next door type thing and everything. It's still that kind of feel she's trying to give out, but it's really like letting people know, like being transparent, like, you know what? I hurt. I cry. I go through like you do, but Oprah was trying to make her, um, be like this big grander person than what she was trying to portray. Oprah was like, well, when she said she made a statement, she was like, yeah, you know, I'm like everybody else. I'm like this and that and other. And then Oprah was like, well, no, you're really like the mistress of the universe. First of all, that sound like witchcraft, Oprah. I don't care. Y'all say what y'all want. Honey, that sound like witchcraft. The mistress of the universe and the queen of the new universe. Oprah, that didn't sound right. I just want you to know that. And Beyonce was like, at first she was looking at Oprah like, okay, what are you trying to say? And then Oprah read the passage that somebody from GQ had wrote out or whatever. And so Beyonce began to get it or whatever. But anyway, Oprah was getting her to spill a little beans about when the Carters may have a new baby. And she said um, after her tour, she was thinking about, you know, maybe having another baby or whatever. Um, she asked her how many phones she had, which I thought was weird. She was like two. She was like, oh, I'm happy. Whatever. And then she talked about... Um, 
her father and her relationship and how her the dynamics of her father and her relationship how much their relationship really has changed you know uh, since he hasn't been her you know manager or whatever and she talked about how hurt she was and things like that from that and all of that um, she talked about the Super Bowl performance how uh, she drew off the energy of the people I don't know I mean you know I'm gonna say this and y'all say what you want but I pay attention to everything and a lot of people be like oh this person here crazy and that person there crazy and I'm like oh say what you want but she was like how she drew off that energy and her husband told her oh babe the lights off you know and it wasn't in like a joking way like you took the lights out you know what I'm saying which it was a great performance I mean I'm I'm you know no shade her way um yeah it was just weird how oprah was trying to make her say you know you the bomb you know you realize that you are the queen of the universe and the mistress of the universe and that just seemed like a weird dynamic to me and and, and it wasn't that it was like Oprah kept saying it and kept on saying it. And Beyonce was just looking at her like, okay, why do you keep saying it? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, and then Beyonce talked about how she's not shy too much anymore. And how Sasha fears and Beyonce is one in the same and all this and then another and uh her alter ego is no longer you know a different identity they're merged mm -hmm. and then she began to talk about um the upcoming you know tour and how you know she talks about the miscarriage that her and Jay-Z had and how hurt how you know how hurt she was and I'm a woman that's been through that so I kind of you know I can feel where she was coming from and she said it you know it's women that go through it no matter if you got money or not you know it's women that go through that and you know the thing is it's no support you know, when you go through that kind of thing, it's like you go through it and you just, you know, you, it's no support for that. And some women, you know, like it's women that come out that are celebrities that say, you know what, I carried my baby a long time and you know what I'm saying? I lost my child. Some people get pregnant wide away and then there's others that's just not that blessed like myself. I it's been 2 years since mine and I didn't have I have not yet to get pregnant again. You know what I'm saying? So you got some people that are blessed, you know, they have a miscarriage and right away they get pregnant either a year or 6 months later. Um and then uh if y'all remember that uh Prince ex-wife from that little uh, thing that R. Kelly and all of them came out with, yeah, and how uh, she talked about she carried her baby for nine months. That's a baby, so you know, she went through the task of naming the baby, then had baby showers, everything. So, you can kind of understand where she was coming from. So, when Beyonce began to talk about it, I felt where she was coming from because I've been there, you know. Um, yeah, and you know, people fail to realize it's like the first thing people say, well, oh, you had a miscarriage, so you not you you don't know you're not a mom. You know, you you not a mom. I carried my baby five and a half months. What are you talking about? I had enough time to figure out what I wanted to name it, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, people don't really understand as a woman how that feels so Beyonce goes into talking about that so she was really like trying to tell Oprah like stop saying that because what I want people to do was the first time in my whole career is I want people to relate to me so she was very saying how I didn't get a chance to see the documentary because I don't have HBO so maybe some of you ladies can tell me how it was but she basically was like telling her like I bleed like you bleed I cry like you cry I hurt like you hurt and you know this is what it is you know what I'm saying and I kind of was feeling up with that and uh from snippets of what they showed it seemed that you know 
girlfriend was like being real transparent with the people like this is what i've been through this is what i've gone through you know uh this is what i'm going through i feel like crying i don't know what to do with myself right now all i know is singing you know what i'm saying and i love performing and that's all i'm sure about and so from the overall interview i feel like um I feel like it's a side to Beyonce that we don't get to see. And I'm glad that she did do the interview before her actual documentary so she can talk the way she wants to talk about it. Um, I just wasn't getting with that mistress of the universe stuff and the queen of the universe. Uh, that stuff just sound like witchcraft to me. Y'all can say I'm trying to be deep. I don't care. Y'all know me. I'm straight at gym. I ain't going to change, baby. It is what it is. I just wasn't getting that. I wasn't into that. I'm not with that. I just don't get that. And that's what that is. And that's how that go. Yeah. And so Oprah makes a statement and she says... Yeah, you might be like every other woman, but your closet is bigger. You have more shoes. You have more square footage in your house. You got way more money than some women have. Like, Oprah, what does that got to do with the price of tea in China? I ain't get that. It would just seem like Oprah was trying to get her to proclaim this status of what she want her to accept she has become. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, I accept that, but I still want to relate to people, you know. So, I don't know, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, that was a little funny dynamic, I thought. You know, and then whatever you picked up off the interview that you thought was kind of weird, but yet you saw and you really liked, drop it down below. Leave a comment. Um... This, this is as quick as I can give that review, but, um, as always, check out the other videos. I'm going to have a couple of, I'm going to have a, I think I'm going to put a, a haul up part one and part two of a haul up of like, uh, some different makeup items and little jewelry pieces I picked up, uh, I did all my hauls together because when I go shopping, I don't window shop well. When I get paid, I just, you know, pick up a few things. And so I try to do hauls because normally I just don't do the hauls. I just, you know, and so I say, well, let me start doing these hauls. So I got a few hauls coming up. What else? Oh, and the auto show. That should be coming up this week. Um, check out the radio show this Saturday on blogtalkradio.com slash mistray hyphen that gym. I'm going to have much love um, from KY or Nina on there. And we're going to talk celeb gossip. And y'all know funny y'all know how she is so she's gonna be on the radio show and so you all can call in at um and talk to her for a few seconds or whatever and stuff like that to give everybody a chance to really get in there and get they two sitting and talk to her but anybody that know her y'all know she shoots straight from the hip so come on and join the show yeah Okay, so thank you to all of y'all. Um, I should have a little funny commentary or something coming up soon. I really didn't have too many jokes on it today. But I do, because it wasn't nothing to really joke about. She was being transparent, so yeah. Alright, diamonds, you are the toughest material on the earth, ladies. And there's none like you, gents. You're no longer boys when you watch this channel. And to all my darlings, I appreciate you, appreciate you, babies. Mwah.